hey there and thanks for watching. In this video, I'll quickly show you how to add periods to our actual plus forecast construction draw schedule. So let's go ahead and get started. You'll notice that by default, the model includes 24 periods. And these periods can either be monthly, quarterly, or annual. And in the case of quarterly or annual periods, 24 of them is probably sufficient. But if you're using, using monthly, you may want to add more. And so that's what this tutorial is all about. So the next thing you'll notice is that there are sections, both visible by default. So we have the actual cash flow section. And then we have the actual plus forecast cash flow section. But if we scroll all the way to the right, you'll notice here in this last column, it ends. And then there are hidden columns out to the right of that. And you know that they're hidden because at the top here, there's this little plus button. So we can click the plus and reveal the remaining hidden peer, uh, sections. And there are three hidden sections, the initial S-curve ratios, the revised S-curve ratios section, and the forecast S-curve. And these sections out here to the right uh, handle the S-curve modeling. Um, so, let me show you then how to add periods. Now, the first thing we're gonna do, and this is important, is that we come here somewhere to the middle of our very first section, and we're going to insert 12 blank columns. And it really doesn't matter where, so long as we are to the right of the first period and to the left of the last period. I usually just come right here to the center, or maybe right to the right of period 12, so here I'll select column 13, which is immediately to the right of period 12. And then I just do control plus 12 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now I've done that and I've inserted 12 blank columns. And what you'll notice is that the column immediately to the left of this insert is period 12. And the column immediately to the right of the insert is period 13. For now, we're going to leave this blank and go to the next section and do the same thing in the exact same place. So immediately to the right of period 12, we select that column and add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 columns. We have that blank section. Continue out here to section three. There, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Come out here and do the same in the next section, immediately to the right of period 12. Okay, and then in our last section, we're gonna add those 12 columns. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, so now each section is identical. We've inserted columns immediately to the right of period 12 and left everything else blank. Let's come back to the, the very first section. And the next step is we're going to copy that column 12 and paste it out to the right all the way to the end of this section. And we'll paste as formulas only. And you can either do that by right clicking, go to paste special and formats. I'm sorry, uh, formulas or I prefer the keyboard shortcut Alt H V F and that will paste as formulas only. Now what you'll see here is it's now filled in the, the rest of those sections and continued to copy all of the logic from column 12 all the way to the end of what is now column 36 or period 36 of this section. We'll then do the next section again Copying column 12, pasting as, oops, pasting as formulas only out to the right. Now we have through 36, come to the next section, do the same thing, copy column 12, paste to the end of the section as formulas only, continue again. Copy column 12, paste this formulas only. Oops, what did I do wrong? Copy, there it goes. 
I hadn't selected the columns. I'd only selected cells. And then finally, again, the last section, copy and paste is formulas only. Now, if we come all the way back to the beginning, we'll see our air check checks out. That means that we are modeling the correct amount, or in other words, the sum of all of our actual plus forecast cash flows. In this case, three million in this uh, second budget item is equal to our budgeted amount, three million. And so there we have it. We've added uh, periods to our actual plus forecast construction draw schedule. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, thanks for your time.